creating YouTube, I've tackled a number of complicated and controversial topics in the past. Today is going to be no different. Dr. Jack Kevorkian has passed away at the age of 83. Dr. Kevorkian was made famous because he invented what was known as the suicide machine, a device that would allow a person to kill themselves painlessly on their own terms, giving people who are terminally ill the chance to pass on their schedule and not the schedule of some random disease. From my words and my tone, you can know that I am fully supporting of a person's right to kill themselves. And Dr. Kevorkian's method was at least clean, quiet. My grandfather committed suicide. He was alone, facing cancer for the second time. He couldn't go forward. He was done. He went to his wife's grave, put a shotgun under his chin, and blew his head off. I don't judge the man. I don't know what it's like to be in that position. But he would have died with more dignity if he'd had Dr. Gavorkian around than the method he chose. In America, we seem okay with letting people suffer in terminal pain for endless times, so long as we don't allow them to die on their own terms. And I don't understand that. A very close relative of mine, a person I loved with every fiber of my being, had a stroke. It is suspected that her doctor euthanized her because he knew his patient and knew that she wouldn't want to be in that vegetative state forever. I have no proof one way or the other if he actually did this or not. I'm never going to ask him. I don't even remember his name. But if he did, and I could confirm it, I'd thank him. Because I loved that person more than possibly anyone in the world. And I didn't want to see that person suffer. So I know I'm going to piss people off and I'm sorry. Dr. Kevorkian I think was a great man. And someday we're going to look back on this and realize that people should have the right to die on their own terms. Because we'll allow animals to stop suffering. For some strange reason, we won't allow people to stop suffering.